back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. Today I have a delicious tabbouleh recipe for you. This is not your ordinary tabbouleh, this is gonna be a lentil tabbouleh. We are gonna make this with lentil beans instead of cracked wheat, and it is gonna make it vegan, gluten-free, healthy, nutritious, and delicious, all of those things in one dish. Serve it as a main course because it is so packed with nutrition. Lentil, we all know, has protein in it, and it's loaded with um, nutrients and minerals and all that good stuff. It is so good, so flavorful, keeps well in the refrigerator so you can take it with you to work. And it is a perfect side to serve to if you're making like grilled chicken or fish or something like that. So many ways to serve it, so delicious. Let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. We're gonna need some extra virgin cold pressed high quality olive oil, salt, a garlic clove, black pepper, an English cucumber, lemons, we're gonna use the juice of lemons. We have a cup of dried lentils with a bay leaf. These are still uncooked. Some dried oregano. <clears throat> These are grape tomatoes, but use any tomatoes that you have. This is some fresh mint some scallions and fresh parsley. I have a pot that's boiling over here and I'm gonna add the lentils and of the bay leaf along with a little bit of salt. I'll add half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna let the lentils boil. These lentils take about 15 to 20 minutes. Check them as soon as they're tender and ready. You're gonna to wanna to drain them and then set the lentils aside to cool completely. All lentils cook differently, so make sure you check the package instruct instructions so that you know how long you're gonna cook them for. While that's happening, I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna make the dressing. So we're gonna need a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. The juice of a lemon is usually enough, the juice of one lemon. And then we're also gonna need some olive oil about a third of a cup of extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. My favorite kind of olive oil, olive oil comes from Crete. And I'm gonna grate one garlic clove. And I'm just gonna whisk everything all together and set it aside and that's it, the dressing is ready. Next, I'm just gonna prepare the vegetables. So I'm just gonna peel this English cucumber and I love using English cucumbers because they hardly have any seeds in them and they're just perfect and nice and crisp but you can use any cucumbers that you like. I also love using Persian cucumbers. Those are the small uh, skinny ones that usually come in packs. I know that Costco carries them. That's where I usually get them from, but use whatever you have. And I'm just gonna dice this up. So in tabbouleh, all the vegetables should be nice and small, so cut everything as small as you can. I'm gonna add the cucumbers to this big bowl over here. And now I'm gonna cut these uh, grape tomatoes into little thirds. If they're really small, I'm just gonna cut them in half. Cherry tomatoes are also good. I like to use tomatoes that hold their shape in tabbouleh, so use whichever ones that you like or that you have. So go ahead and thinly slice the scallions and add them to the bowl. Next, very finely chop the parsley. You can pick the parsley leaves one by one or just a bunch at a time with your fingers or with your hands. I, the way I like to do it is with a knife. I just kind of shave them off. And if there's just a few pieces of stems in there, that's fine. I just go ahead and finely chop it and I just pick out all of the thick stems before I finally chop it. Then go ahead and ve very finely chop fresh mint. Now if you don't have fresh mint, you don't have to use it, but it does add a really nice freshness to this dish. You could also use basil if you wanted to instead. Mix everything all together, and now it's time to add the cooked lentils. So the lentils are still a little bit hot, but it should be okay. At home, if you're making this, try to, make, try to add the lentils once they're completely cooled. While they're still warm, you're gonna to wanna to go in and season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Add about a teaspoon of crushed dried oregano. Whisk the dressing all together and pour it on top and mix everything all together. Once you mix it all together, give it a taste. Mm. To me, it tastes perfect. If it needs a little bit more lemon juice, go ahead and add it in there. For more depth of flavor, you can certainly add some red wine vinegar. If you need a little bit more salt and pepper, go ahead and add it, but it tastes fresh and delicious as it is. I'm gonna transfer it onto my serving bowl, and I am gonna drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil while it's on the serving dish. It is beautiful as is. And just like this, it's ready to be served. You can certainly serve some feta cheese on the side with some lemon wedges and some toasted bread. It makes a filling and hearty meal, or you can serve it as an appetizer. It's all, it's all, it's all up to you, appetizer or, or a side. I'm gonna go in and take a little taste. Mm. 
so much flavor. So delicious. The lentils are perfectly cooked. All the vegetables are, are so fresh and delicious tasting. I think you guys are going to love this one. Head on over to the website, www.dimitrimfishes.com. Print this recipe out. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.